Morning, everyone. Welcome back to the kitchens of Grouse Mountain Resorts. My name is Dino Gazzola, the executive chef. Today, we're going to prepare one of the new soups that uh, we have on our uh, newly released uh, fall menu. A sunchoke and roasted shallot soup with uh, house smoked black cod and braised lentils. The ingredients we're going to be using today, we have extra virgin olive oil, cream, chicken stock, Again, if you want to use water or vegetable stock to make it a vegetarian soup, by all means. We have sunchokes. We have unsalted butter. We have shallots. We have our braised lentils, and I'll go over the ingredients with that later. And we have our flaked uh, smoked black cod, which we do in-house. First step in our soup, we have to do the roasted shallot component. Put a little bit of olive oil in there, probably about a couple of tablespoons, and then just probably about a tablespoon of butter. Now I'm going to take my shallots. So shallots you can find in any store. Shallots are just a uh, member of the onion family. Very uh, have that onion flavor, but very a lot sweeter and a lot uh, you know less intense than a regular onion. Just going to add that to our pan. A little salt. Place these in a 325 degree oven for about 20-25 minutes till they're nice and caramelized and golden brown. Let's start the soup now. We're going to add in a fair amount of butter to sweat off the uh, sunchokes. Again, I prefer to use unsalted butter whenever I'm cooking because again you're going to be adding seasoning into it. Salted butter obviously has salt in it. You don't want to end up with the, uh, any type of your food that's too salty. The butter's going to add that really nice, rich, intense, buttery component to the dish. The sun chokes themselves as far as flavor, potatoey, nutty, almost um, apple in that sense, have almost a sweet uh, sort of nuance to them. Again, the butter, that sort of, uh, those flavor profiles will go together perfectly. So we're just going to melt this up. Just going to add in my sliced sun chokes. Now sunchokes again, you can find at any store there. They're also referred to as Jerusalem artichokes. Gonna add in my chicken stock. I've added approximately, I would say two cups of chicken stock to that. If you wanted to put in again, just water, obviously you'd have to do additional seasoning and whatnot because you're not gonna get that same flavor profile from the chicken stock but it would make a vegetarian for those of you who don't, uh, who, who choose not to eat meat. We're just gonna turn this down to a, a low simmer. Let that cook probably a good 25, 30 minutes just till the sun chokes get tender. By that point, our shallot should be nicely roasted. We're gonna incorporate that in there. Let those flavors combine, probably another 10 minutes, and then we're just gonna puree this soup. Just removed our shallots from the oven. It's been about 25, 30 minutes. Nice and golden brown, caramelized, got nice, good roasted flavors into that. We're going to add it to our sunchoke uh, base, which has been simmering away here for about, uh, again, 30 minutes, same amount of time. Just going to add that in there. Now, I'm just going to let this go for probably another 5-10 minutes just to let all these flavors combine together. So, it's been 10 minutes. All our flavors are nice and combined. We're now going to puree this soup to get it nice and smooth. Just to the point where I've finished pureeing, it's nice and smooth. Excellent. I generally put the cream in afterward because I, I don't want the cream to uh, cook for so long that it, uh, you run the danger of it uh, splitting or breaking where you get that oily film in your soup. So I put it in just at the very end just to finish the soup. I'm going to add in my cream now. Again, just to lighten it up a bit more, but again, add that another nice layer of rich texture to it. Okay. I'm just going to put it on the back burner here just to keep it warm. So. The next component I'm going to add in, what I have here are uh, what they refer to as beluga lentils. They refer to them as beluga lentils because in their raw state, even right now, they just look like little tiny beluga uh, caviar sort of uh, pearls in that sense. So the lentils have been blanched, blanched in, uh, until they're, uh, they're tender but still with a bit of firm bite in them. I then uh, saute off a fine brunoise of carrots, onion, celery and leek and a little bit of duck fat. Get those nice and translucent. Add in those cooked lentils, cover them with enough uh, 
veal stock or veal demi. Let them braise nice and slowly just to finish off the cooking process and let all those flavors incorporate. We're now ready to plate this soup. Give it one last stir. The last component on this dish is our smoked black cod. Uh, this black cod is a local product caught anywhere from our coast up to the coast of Alaska, uh, somewhat down the coast uh, towards California. Uh, definitely falls into an ocean-wise friendly product, uh, very well managed uh, resource. Um, beautiful, oily, dense fish uh, found mostly in colder water so that fat content is very high in it. Suits very well to uh, smoking. Um, so this we've smoked in-house but it is available at your grocer or in specialty stores, you can get it that way. So I'm just going to take a few flakes of this. Just going to lay it nicely into the soup. You'll see that it adds just a beautiful color to the soup. So there we have it. It's our uh, local sunchoke soup with roasted shallots, our house smoked black cod, again ocean-wise, and uh, braised beluga lentils, as served in the observatory restaurant in Grouse Mountain. Enjoy.